Okay, you have the controls. My controls. Getting select, and I'll lead you into the hole. Yeah. So we'll be now doing a left turn at 15 degrees. Heading to, sorry, heading to 210. Yeah. Please note that the auto throttle is off, so you have the controls. Okay, so what I'm doing is setting the thrust and wheel limit to max continuous. And this will give us actually the same amount as climb 90.2%, 90.2 for max continuous. We have that here, continuous. That's good. And now I take the lofty quick reference handbook, which every plane has. And it has, it is full of stuff that if something happens in case of, you have to read the book. So it's, it's called the book. Uh, I'll, let me help you there. You have the map. You have the the holding on the map, right? So I'm leading you into the hole at right about here, 183, okay? Yeah. Check. Okay. What happened is that we had an engine fire. It's now extinguished. And we're in normal flight. Just watch the speed and yeah. watch the altitude and watch the heading I'll and watch uh, everything. Slow down a little bit. For okay, the what speed do you, know, do you want? 2 to 0. 2 to 0. 2 to 0. Set. Set. And here we have so everything connected with engines and fires is 8. So we go to, we go to 8. And then we look for engine fire or engine severe damage or separation. So we have engine fire 8.2. We go to 8.2. And it's one of the longest checklist. So engine fire or engine severe. One of them, one or more of these occur. Engine fire warning, engine separation, airframe vibrations. So auto throttle is disengaged. Auto throttle disengaged. Thrust lever confirmed close, we have that. Engine start lever confirmed cutoff, we've done that. Engine start switch confirm pull, we have that. So this is everything we did already. Uh, you have the controls, you have the heading. Yeah. So, or I can turn on the LNAV and we can try with the LNAV. Oh, yeah. yep. So we continue. And if the engine fire switch or engine overheat light is illuminated, not illuminated. So this is all good. Uh, choose one. High airframe vibration occurs and continues after the engine is shut down. Does not occur and does not continue after the engine is shut down. So we go to step seven. Isolation will switch close. Isolation will is this one. We close it so the fumes and the smoke from the engine will not go to the cabin and to the passengers and to the pilots. Uh, back switch affected side uh, off, right side off for the same reason. APU bleeds air switch is off, is off. We continue. Choose one. APU is available for start or not available. APU would not be available for start if we would be above when flight level 230, flight level 210. So if we'll be at cruise altitude, the APU would not start. We would not use it, but now we can use it. So APU start. And when APU is running, APU generator switch effect is side on. So we wait for the APU to start it. Very skipping the plane in level flight at speed and is a master captain. So the APU is starting, the passengers are not steaming, that's good. And uh, that's why 
rising. It's rising, it's stopped. Okay, APU generator available, so right side. On. Balance fuel is needed. Uh, this means that we have to turn on the cross screen. And then it will balance the taking of the fuel from both, both tanks. Isolation will switch after the engine fire has been extinguished back to auto. Okay, back to auto. Plant land at nearest suitable airport. Now for this, uh, we'll be going back to Salzburg airport. And because we have runway 3-4 active, uh, with gusting winds, we'll be using circle to land ILS for runway 1-6 and then circle to land on runway 3-4 because that's the only approach and is available at Salzburg at, on that runway, which should be fun with one engine. Uh, what I suggest is we start the descent to 4,000 feet. Yeah, it's at 4,000 feet, it's altitude. 4,000 feet set and level and, change. Uh, level change. Good. Level change. So we'll have to reduce the thrust a bit. Yeah, we can reduce to uh, 190 and we okay, so select speed 190 zero. set. Check. Yeah. Give the flight uh, director to reduce the thrust a bit to around 50%. Uh, keep the rudder. Don't forget the rudder. Okay. Uh, so for landing, we'll do one engine in operative landing. And for that, we'll go later on. Now we have to prepare for the approach. And to prepare for the approach, we have the LS set. And we have everything on here. Flaps 5. And speed check. I suggest flaps 1 for the beginning. All right, we'll go with flaps 1. It will be hard to keep it. Uh, with flaps 5, we will really have to use high thrust. Yeah. Uh, used to the engine. Right, with one engine. So let's let's keep on flaps one for now. Yeah. Um, so final approach course one five six. I have this big paper because Per has the glasses and I don't. So I have this big paper. Mm -hmm. One five six. Is set on my side. One five six. Is set on her side and. Uh, Airport elevation 1410, we have the same. Okay. What's that? One pressure on the right engine. Shall the descent. Okay, that's that's normal. Uh, I'll set it because we're descending not on schedule. We climbed to 6000, now going back to the landing altitude. I'm setting this on standby. And we'll have to do it manually. I will set vertical speed. Okay. So I'm setting minus 700. Okay, so we have the ILS set. And we'll continue according to ILS until we descend to 2600 feet. And then we'll have this awesome approach uh, between the mountains at 800 meters above the ground with one engine and crosswinds and gusting winds and stuff so this will be uh, it will be tricky it will be interesting and tricky yeah. and dangerous and so okay uh, approach no descent checklist we still have to do yeah. all the checklist disregarding that we have one engine operative uh, we still have to do that so pressurizations for me cabin altitude 1400 and 40 feet and landing altitude 1440 feet is set recall checked checked we have master portion because we don't have one engine that's all we're setting uh auto brake set it level two two yeah okay um landing data okay for that we go back to fmc uh, with one engine in operative uh, we'll do flaps 15 landing. So we have is 149 
and minimums is 2550 feet according to the chart. An approach briefing, so we'll do one engine in operative landing, uh, you'll be the pilot flying, we have 10 kilometers visibility but the wind's at 300 at 10 knots or 13 knots, gusting to 23 knots, yeah. we'll be have to be very careful on approach for that. And one engine in operative landing is 7 to 6. One engine in operative landing, 7 to 6. In the training manuals, this page and the engine fire page is usually very loose because this is what the pilots usually do when they're in the simulator and training. They use it the most. Uh, one engine in operative landing, plan of flaps 15 landing, set rear at 15. We have that. No normal configuration landing distance table. Salzburg is enough, we check that. Maintain weird F15 plus wind additive on final approach. So we'll do 155 for the final approach. Engine anti ice is not needed. Checklist complete, except deferred items. And deferred items, pressurization is set. Recall is checked, auto brake level 2. Landing data ref is 149, minimums 2550. Approach briefing is complete. Yep. Okay. Yep. So we'll okay. do uh, no engine bleed landing, and so we'll have more thrust. Uh, when below 10,000, wind anti is off. Is off. Isolation wolf switch is close. It's close. Bleed one air switch. This one off. No bleeds. And uh, APU on, left back switch, auto, lead 2 is off. Okay. Go around review. Do the normal go around procedure except use flaps 1. So we would use flaps 15 in normal go around, so here we use flaps 1. Yes. Maintain weird at 15 plus 5 knots until reaching flap retraction altitude. Limit bank angle to 15 degrees when airspeed is less than VRF 15 plus 50 knots. Accelerate to flaps one maneuvering speed before flap retraction. So the essential is we speed up and then do everything else. Yeah. Approach yeah. checklist. So at 4000, this is transition at level altimeter 1010. Uh, set yours to 1010 as well. 1010. Additional set. deferred item, ground proximity flap inhibit switch. This one. Ah. Uh, this switch will prevent the flap warning going off at flaps 15. And we have the landing checklist. Okay. So this we completed. Let's now turn towards the approach. Yeah. Uh, so let's let Pearl rest a minute. My controls. Your controls. My controls. Okay. So now let's go on to the LS and then when we start the descent, I'll give you back the controls, okay? Yeah. So let me see the full view, okay? Uh, heading uh, 210, please. Heading 210, sir. Checked, and we're turning to the left. Back towards the Salzburg VOR. Let's increase the bank angle a bit. And heading 180. 180, sir. So we're turning back to runway 16 initially, and so we have everything set up for runway 16. With the new approach, like we would normally do for runway 16. And the uh, arm VOR localizer, please. VOR localizer armed. Okay, thank you.
Yeah, it's very gusty today. Yeah. And it's throwing the plane all around. So one is zero. Another one off. And you cannot really feel that in the video, but with one engine off, the flight director shows anything but the correct flight path. Uh, so it's actually kind of tricky to keep it on the on the heading most of the time. So when we reach Sierra Bravo Golf, we will uh, direct to Oscar Echo we should, Sierra. We should, no, we should catch the localizer pretty soon. The localizer is now live. Yeah. So we will catch the localizer, then the glide slope, just then continue on the glide slope until uh, Sierra India NDB. Yeah. Then 130. So and, uh, more lock is now green, yeah. turning over to the localizer. So arm the approach, please. Approach arm. Approach arm. We're still 13.6 miles out from the runway, so still keep the speed. Yeah. Running to the high. But the flight director is showing nonsense. You can see that if, if we can zoom in, uh, the flight director is showing me to turn to the right, but the glide slope is on the left side. And that is because without the thrust from one engine, uh, the 737 Classic uh, computer cannot really calculate the correct angles to show on the flight director. It doesn't understand what's happening with the thrust. So you have to be very careful when maintaining the plane on the flight director. Okay, glide slope is alive. Yeah. Please set speed 170. 170 set. I'm aligning the heading bug with the... Yeah, with the runway heading. And last load captured. So now we're starting the stance. Please, please set altitude 2600. 2600 will be our minimal, minimal altitude at which we'll keep the plane until we finish the circle to land maneuver. Uh, flaps 5, please. Speed check, flaps 5. And speed brakes. Yeah. And the speed is a bit too high. Yeah. Gear down. Gear down. You want me to run the speed brakes a bit? No, no, it's okay. okay. Yeah, we we'll still have. You want speed brakes? No. no. Because we have the tailwind. Yeah. Uh, and it's just better to keep it at that one. Uh, set speed 155, please. 155 set. And 2600, so I'm leveling the plane off. And we see the runway. You have the controls. I control, so I see the runway. Yeah, keep the throttle. So altitude hold. And the okay, go 2600. Yeah. I'm setting the flaps 15, okay? Increase the thrust. Yep. Flaps 15. Okay, we passed the NDB. So, so we're heading 130. 130. 120 initially. So do a quick turn, watch the speed, watch the altitude. Light flow. That's okay. My director off, watch the heading. We have to turn Correcting. left more. Correct. And one three zero. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, landing checklist. Engine starts switch operating engine. Continuous. Landing gear is down. Speed brake is on. Flaps 15. Green light. Thrust numbers. Okay. Landing checklist is complete. Okay, we continue like that. The runway is on the right. Yeah. So according to the chart, uh, heading, watch the heading. Heading 150, we should get 130. Yeah, 150. Turn left more. Oh, we said 150. Now we are at 150, we should get 130. Yeah. Okay, so we have the mountain on that side. Yeah, you see. We have the mountain on the other side. And we're at 1,000 feet above the ground. So good, and uh, good, yeah. And okay, let's do the right turn onto the runway. Starting right turn. Yep. Heading uh, three three six. So heading initially three zero zero. We don't have the flight director putting it back on. Heading select. Bank angle. Watch the bank, bank angle. angle. Bank angle. Okay. And vertical speed about 700. So vertical speed. Vertical speed. Oh, it's flaps for, yeah, flip 15 is set. Yeah, flaps yeah. 15 is all good. Yeah. Vertical speed around 700. Yep. So watch the mountain. Yeah. And you see the runway? You should see the runway. Yeah, I see it. Okay. And uh, yeah. Quite lights. good. Yeah. yeah, quite good. All right, perfect. Watch the speed. And after landing, no reverse thrust. No reverse. Without, we'll, we'll stop without reverse thrust. Yeah. Okay, right turn. At the right speed, turn. correcting. Turn this up. Don't reduce the thrust too much. It will be longer to keep it up. Yeah. Go up or oh, when we should go around or something. So let's just leave it at that. We'll slow down. We'll be we'll be uh, above the roller. Yeah. Okay. So keep it level. Watch the vertical speed. Watch the rudder. Yeah. Right more. Minimums, minimums. Continue. Landing. 100. 50. 30. Right rider. No reverse on the brakes. No reverse on the brakes. Manual brakes. Manual brakes. And uh, let's slow down to around 40 knots. Off brakes, off brakes, air controls, air controls. And we continue without braking and looking for a way to get off the runway without increasing the thrust. So no warnings. Engine is good enough. Yeah. Auto brake. Yes. Yeah, speed brake. Off. We have the APU on. So after yeah. stopping, we will not taxi, but turn off the, the remaining engine. Yeah. Just turn off and wait for the emergency services. So we're turning off. It's transponder off. Let's 
So a little runway, stopping here, parking brake on, engine one off. And no ev evacuation needed of course. Yeah, no no fire. All good. Thing looks good. Yeah. Okay, so this was landing with one engine, circling approach in Salzburg with gusting winds. Um, if you think that we could have added something else to the mix, uh, please let us know in the comments. Uh, we'll do it next time. And, and, and yeah, you can actually challenge us to do something that would actually happen in, in real life, of course. Okay? So, that's it for this video. Um, we'll be looking in the comments for, for ideas for next videos. We'll continue with type ratings or, or learn the type rating as well on 77 and 1820 uh, accordingly. And then uh, see you next time. See you. Bye.